Okay, hi, I'm Mayor Ian Shaw from the town of Sykesville. I'd like to welcome you all to the sixth annual uh, Sykesville Art and Wine Festival. And uh, we got lots, 17 uh, different vineyards out here today, lots of arts and crafts and food vendors. So uh, please feel free to come on down today and enjoy yourself. If you didn't get a chance to get to this year's Art and Wine Festival, um, be sure and come next year because it's a great event. Lots of folks here and uh, we're really having a great time. And uh, don't forget our farmer's market starting on May 15th. The Orioles bird will be here between 9.30 and 10.30 with myself. You can come and get some autographs. So come on down. We'd love to have you here. Thank you very much and we look forward to seeing you all here in the town of Sykesville. Uh, hi, I'm Stephen Colella and I'm the Director of Economic Development for the Town of Sykesville. Uh, I'm also the event coordinator for the Sykesville Art and Wine Festival. Uh, we're currently in our sixth year and this year we've welcomed probably about 2,2500 people to our event. Uh, we're excited to have everyone here. We've got uh, 17 wineries, we've got dozens of food vendors and art vendors and great live music. So it's a really exciting event and, and we're glad to have everyone here. Um, the event's been going on for about six years. It's a huge fundraiser for the Sykesville Main Street Association, so we appreciate everyone for helping us out. Um, and anyone who didn't make it this year, uh, we'd love to welcome you back next year for the seventh annual Art and Wine Festival here in downtown Sykesville. Hi, my name is Tyler Bloom. I'm the marketing festival director for the Olney Winery. Uh, we're based in Montgomery County, Maryland. Uh, we started in 2012. Uh, we specialize in fruit-infused wines. We use all natural fruits in our wines, so there's no oversaturated, really sugary taste that you may get from some other ones. Um, people say that we have the best fruit wines in Maryland, and I think our product speaks for itself. Um, now, we can be found in over 550 stores in Maryland. Uh, the easiest way to find it is you can go on our website at www.olneywinery.com and you can put in your zip code and find whatever local store has our wine. Uh, or you can come see us at our tasting room in Olney, uh, where we do uh, we do wine tastings for, seven, we have $7 for five wines, and then $1.50 after that. You can come enjoy, our wonderful staff likes to take care of you and educate you on wine. Um, and then, also we are opening up a location in Hagerstown. Uh, that's going to be opening up at hopefully the second week of June. Uh, so you definitely come through and see us there. Uh, we will be at any Maryland Wine Festival you can think of this summer. We will be here. Uh, and then also, I'm actually looking for volunteers to come and help out at these wine festivals. Uh, the volunteers are the reasons why we're able to have a successful establishment when we do come out to these festivals. Uh, and we also have a lot of fun with them. And uh, that's why people keep coming back. Hi, I'm, I'm Nick Parr, and I'm from Tawny Town. I'm a wood turner. And here at the Sykesville Wine Festival, I am uh, demonstrating how to make an inside out turning on my wood lathe. Take a, a sharp chisel, and while the wood, wood is spinning, you carve it to the shape that you would like.
What makes it an inside out turning is you, you start with four pieces of wood that are not glued together. And you turn a groove on the outside of the, of the wood. And after you've turned the groove, you take each piece and rotate it 180 degrees so that now the groove is on the inside. And now it's ready to be glued together permanently. And then when you put it on the lathe and you'll spin it and carve it to make uh, something that could possibly be a Christmas ornament. And you can see that there's a, a hole here that uh, this, this hole was on the outside before and now after we turned it over uh, it is now on the inside so it's an inside out turning. And the wood lathe itself is an example of a treadle powered wood lathe that uh, I made a number of years ago. Uh, there's no electric motor on it. It's, it's powered with the treadle like uh, the old sewing machines, the treadle sewing machines. And this is the way wood turning may have been done uh, prior to uh, electric motors. How long have you been doing this for? Well, I, I taught middle school shop for 40 years, and uh, I learned it, I learned wood turning about the, when I started teaching. Uh, taught many students how to, how to do wood turning, and. Uh, so I, I honed my skills there, and, and uh, now I, I have fun, uh, now that I'm retired, I have fun just ma making these and trying to share my skills and interests with other people. Where, uh, where can the public find your work? Just at festivals, or do you have like a, a website or a business? I have a uh, Facebook page, okay. uh, Nature's Turnings, and uh, I will be at... Uh, Mistletoe Mart in November and Arts Fest in Solomons, Maryland in September. My name's Nate Wilson. I'm from Newmarket Plains Vineyards in Newmarket, Maryland. We're a family-owned farm and it's in its 11th generation now. We have three wines currently. We have two Chardonnays and a Rosé. And we're now going to be releasing new wines here, about eight new wines. And again, we're in Newmarket, Maryland. Our first vintage was in 2014. And we have been growing grapes since the 90s. We replanted for commercial purposes in 2012. We have a small tasting room and we're working through permitting processes for our permanent tasting facility and we hope you come out and join us. So my name is Bree Kathman and I um, am the potter at Make It Personal Studios and we're based in Eldersburg. Uh, my uh, shop that I make all of the work is in Westminster and uh, I've been throwing for about 15 years. I'm a recent uh, um, master's graduate out of Hood College in Frederick, Maryland. My work is currently being sold at Reviving Company uh, in uh, downtown Old Sykesville. And uh, it's a great little store where you can buy furniture, all sorts of uh, fun things that go in your house to make it beautiful. And uh, my pottery is one of the things that's in there. 
Will you be at any other uh, festivals this summer? Uh, yes, uh, I do all of the festivals in downtown Westminster and uh, we do Flower and Jazz is the big one. Um, I actually do custom squeeze mugs at the Flower and Jazz Festival where I will throw a, a mug custom to your exact hand and I'll have you squeeze it so that when it shrinks and fires it will fit your hand perfectly. So um, I want to say that I think those are $15 um, when we throw them, but it's really just a fun thing that we do to get people excited about clay and end up with a, a piece of pottery that fits their hand perfectly, which is very fun. My name is Megan. I'm an employee at Linganer Wine Cellars. We'd love to have you come visit us. We are located in Mount Airy, Maryland, in Frederick County. Our vineyard is on a farm of about 220 acres. We make over 30 different wines. We have a beautiful tasting room, as well as a gorgeous lawn for you to come enjoy a picnic and enjoy a bottle of wine. We put on several different events throughout the year. You can come to Ladies' Day Out. We also do many festivals throughout the summer, such as our Caribbean Wine Festival, our Reggae Festival, and our Vine Rewind, which is coming up June 18th and 19th. Priscilla George from Priscilla George Fine Art. I do watercolor paintings and I'm based out of Sykesville, Maryland. You can find me at www.priscillageorgefineart.com where you can also buy my prints and originals. Will you be at any other festivals this um, I will be at Frederick Post News. It's like Frederick News Post Art Market on um, May 7th and hopefully at Artscape. So those are the only two coming up. Thank you. 